Welcome everyone to Grumbog Gaming. Today we are continuing Atomic Heart, so we need to find a ticket for this train so we can get uh, moving. What am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. <laughs> Shit. Do I have to? Ah yes, talk to the corpses. So yeah, um, we need a ticket because the train won't move without a ticket, but unfortunately there's no one working the ticket booths right now. There are no tickets! The window is closed! I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place! Help! They're killing me! <laughs> um... Sorry, comrade. No one can help you now. Alright. This game does look great, and I will say it's so well optimized. In comparison to the last couple of games I've played, like Dead Space and Callisto Protocol, which were just terribly optimized, even with lots of patches, Hi. this game... Rescue! Fantastic. Failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Ram and key. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. <laughs> Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking yeah, time Yeah, he's here. very degraded. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go back this way. Did I go in this house? I don't think I did. Ooh. I definitely did. Yeah, lots of bits. And a, a shotgun shell. No, that's not the shotgun. This is the shotgun. There we go. So. Can I go in here? No, I can't. Okay. And I still don't know how the lock picking works. Because th th there's no interface for it, which is really quite annoying. Because I have just no idea. I just can't see how it works. And I missed two buildings because there were so many robots for no reason. I mean, there is a reason, clearly, but yeah, there's a lot of robots. Uh, oh, come on. Really? Can I sneak in? I can't sneak in. Um, can I break in? No, okay. Um. Ah, polymer goo. Oh, I could have swam from there. Where am I going? Okay. Fair enough. I'm gonna loot your stuff first, Mister. Thank you. Anything in the bathroom? No. Alrighty. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run! You can make it! Leave the area! I can't. I'm the guy who's gonna clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots! Um... I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, oh, not that long. it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. Um. Okay. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. So how about that pass? What about it? <laughs> have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. <laughs> I can't I'll get reach it. it. <laughs> Thanks, comrade. <laughs> Do I like not that. approach graphics. They're dangerous. <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> All right. I mean, this one. That's not a different. I thought it was a different direction for a second. I mean, it kind of is, but. Ah, I see. Okay. Right, so I have my ticket. Now we can get on the train and take it away. I need to do more upgrades. I need more neuropolymers and just, I need more everything. I also want to upgrade this to do more damage because it just doesn't right now. See, that was a lot of shots and a lot of energy used. I probably could have killed him with like four pistol shots, which would have used like one bar instead of one and a half. I don't know. 
I am unsold on it as at the moment. This thing on the other hand is a lot better than the axe. It does much more damage. I do like my Kalash. I should maybe use it a little bit more. Now that I've done some upgrades on it as well. Alright, mister. Take me away. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown sensor. Yes, yes, yes. Um... Is there we go. this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? <laughs> Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion <laughs> that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. I guess I didn't it need a ticket. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. Uh, are, are you serious? <laughs> Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now Charles? Departing. Next Professor up, Zaharov's death oh seems pretty God. cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed. That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatovo went after Petrov. Oh, you're gonna She's crash a the woman train. in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Oh, yeah, it's one of the geology robots, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, crispy critters! Crispy critters is so good. Hold on! Are you fucking serious? Ugh. Well, shit. station. Next stop. Holy shit. That's not gonna hold. Oh, hello. Stock? Who the fuck are you? No time for a dirt nap, Stock. Get your ass up and head to cover. Who? Who? Spill it. What did Sashinov say? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the, uh, okay. Uh, Comrade Sashinov wants you to go there right now and, and initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, oh, Anything yeah. else? Uh, Comrade Sashinov asked me to give you this. Huh. Oh. This will come. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? What the fuck? What is happening? Slippery little bitch! I'll be the What? I'm so confused about what just happened. Okay, dickhead. What the fuck? Show me what you got! What the hell? Who is this guy? The man. Who is that supposed to be? <laughs> testing grounds. There are many secret testing grounds where you can find a variety of blueprints to upgrade your arsenal. Entrance to testing grounds are marked with a question mark. The no repair vendor can tell you the approximate location of the testing ground with the blueprints you need. Okay. Okay, testing grounds are marked. It's pretty here. That way. Just like Moscow. Better actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Hmm. Okay. We're here, so there's testing grounds. Maybe we should go do a testing ground. I can't mark them on my map, but we can still try. Reach the exhibition. The exhibition's there. But uh, I've lost me again. It's not showing me. Oh, there we go. All right, uh, exhibition's in the arena, but I'm gonna go to this testing 
for the Fox handle, the PM Expansive Converter, KS23 Extended Magazine, and the Sword Dance. Oh, okay, there's bronze, silver, and gold rewards. I see. Okay, we can we can do that. I don't know how to disable these hawks. I feel like we should be able to do that, but right, let's do that then. Let's do a testing ground. Why not? Come Hello, on. Nora. Not that hooker bot again. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? See, sometimes she's just normal, and sometimes she's really, really, really not. I want to upgrade your damage. Treat his energy expenditure. Damn, that's expensive. Okay. Charge damage increased. Increases weak point damage. Yeah, okay. Clash. Can we upgrade you? Decreases recoil. In uh, increases damage again. Okay, let's do it. Nice. And I don't have enough for that again. Don't have an extended mag or anything. Okay. And the shotgun. Can we do anything with you? Decreases recoil. Increases damage up to max, but I don't ha have 12 of those. Hmm. Okay. It's music, though. All right. Aha! Safe point! Woo! Thank you. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I just looked at the floor like that. Oh, Christ. <sighs> I'm gonna use up a lot of my ammo, aren't I? Okay. Nope, no alarm level, thank you. Yeah, you go and do your repairs. I'm going this way. Testing grounds is over here. God, I wish I could destroy you. You have so much energy. Okay. How do we get inside? I don't feel like wandering around here all goddamn day. Think carefully. Uh, testing ground. Come on and show me where I am. I think I'm in the right spot, but I need to know. I'm assuming I am. Comrade Major, is there anything you might have failed to consider? There must be a way into the VDNH. But I'm trying to get into the testing ground. Which must be this building, right? Can I not get into them yet? Is that what this is? Hmm. Civil defense shelter. I feel like I'm in the right place. But because I can't see me on the map for some mixed obscure reason. Maybe... There's this big domey thing here and I think I'm next to this building. So maybe we'll just head to see if we can see that one. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. And I'm starting to draw attention. Okay, so I just had like a, a little look up of how to enter these because I thought I was missing something and I was. I need to use a camera. I need to use a damned camera to open them. 
So I'm going to head back to where I came and up the stairs, activate the camera, open the door and get back there. Okay. Well, I went on an adventure. I went all the way back there, activated that Vulcan, was it? Thing, and it, um, I couldn't get a camera that was near it. I went over to that place, found another camera thing on top of there. That one couldn't see it, and then I found this place here, which had a camera thing on it. And I could actually open the door. So, testing. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. I don't like how the map doesn't have a legend on it. Because I just couldn't understand what I was looking at, you know? Alright. Let's see what we have to do. I'm guessing it'll just be like, kill robots, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to do it. Okay. These are some very, um, long You now have access to lists. the scientific testing ground, comrade major. You can find valuable weapons in right. such locations in the future. Yeah. Hello. I know your science shit. Fading All data. you do is deceive honest citizens with the concept of a bright future. No <laughs> comment. Outstanding. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the gear that'll help me see tomorrow. Ah, uh, while locating the area of strong magnetic fields in your shock to change the polarity. Yeah, I know that. It's interesting though. So is that what this is? Ah. This has fast cooldown when I'm doing it this way. Alright. Interesting. And that's lowered that. Oh, damn it. Which means I can lower this one, and now I can go this way. Um. Ah. I see. How interesting. Why is there music? Testing Ground 1's magnetic and mechanical workshop is responsible for. One, supplying samples used in all tests and research activities. Two, manufacturing external casings for piston type and thermal machines. Three, regular and cylindrical surface grinding, as well as spark erosion treatment for machine parts. Hmm. Oh. Okay, well, at least... At least it works this way by just changing everything. I don't have to mess around. Yes, and I can't go up. Uh, Alright, so what happens if I do this now? I go down to the floor. Okay, and is this going to squish me? Oh my god, that's not what I intended to do at all. Alright. Okay. Oh, well I can get down to there from here. Alright, and then just dash across. Is that it? Oh, there's a box over there. Yep. Gimme. Thank you. Okay. Electro blueprints. Okay. Alright, well we got through. Give. Superconductor, neuropolymers. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Hello. One, one. I don't know what those mean then. Oh, they join up. All right, cool. Okay, there's a jump through there. There's nothing there. Okay. I wonder what we'll find in here. Hmm. Well, that's a bloody hole. Which looks fun. Is this part of the, the challenge? Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, okay. I thought that was a ramp up, but no, it was a dead end. Right. Down the bloody hole, then. This would have been really good as, like, a horror -y game as well. Because it's a little bit goofy and a little bit zany, but that's fun. I don't mind it. But it would have been really good as a horror game. 
I think there's a lot of potential. Why am I... Do I want to know... What the hell is that? A special transporter for valuable cargo, or Comrade Lutyagen, according to the employee's facetious name for it. Valuable cargo is all well and good, but why is it stuck there like that? Its base features a prototype of a perpetual motion engine that forces the... Boring. Uh -huh. The short version. Once released, it moves quickly between certain set points. It's dead still. Looks like your perpetual motion engine is busted. Well, no, because it's moving. But I think that's why it's being held in place. Okay. So that's the bronze level loot got. So I'm going to just do a save again and we'll move forward. Fading data. Testing ground one's thermal machines comprised of an Archimedes screw powered by the thermal emissions from a candle exothermal element. The machines generate 2 million kilowatts hour of electricity a month. Enough to keep the entire testing ground operational for a year. Two for flinching. Correct. Two for flinching. Correct. Let's see what you got. You missed. Now give me your goodies. I like this game. This game's really nice. Okay, so... What are we doing in this room sp specifically? That is the question. I'm sure I saw something over here that was sparkly blue. Maybe it was that I was seeing through the wall. Yeah, maybe. Is there anything here? Ooh, there is. Thank you. Loads of stuff and some PM ammo, which I will be getting rid of. It's possibly a good weapon when you upgrade it, but I have a Kalashnikov, you know. Hello. Well, this is a lot of loot in here. Oh, and a save room. Saving data. Saving data. Yeah, come on, come on. Give me. Any loot here? Desks, desks. These things. More of these things. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Right. Scan. Anything missed? Yes. Okay. Two. Ah, okay. I want to see if there's anything else I missed down here. Because there was, um... There was this room here. I don't know if there's anything in it, but... Oh, that's just literally right here. Cool. So I'm assuming the bronze one's held in place, but the silver and gold one, they're going to be moving around once I get to, the, get to that spot. Um, can I do anything? Be major weapons or ability. I want to get more health. I want to get more inventory size. I have 140. That costs 75. That costs 110. It might be good just to get more, ta more tactical backpack. But I want this healing one-handed, which is also kind of cool. But we'll get there. Yes, more inventory space. All right. I know stuff goes straight into storage, though, if I do have too much so that's that's fine how do i do this now oh i can't zap it again all right cool Ooh. hey hey buddy thank you that noise is so it's so weird it's like eerie well I, I like it is that a box Hey. Hey, box. How do I open you? How do I get to you? Interesting. I'm gonna try? I, I honestly don't know how I could get to that box. Um, the other th thing is, can I do this? I can. I knew it. All right. Attention all testing ground one personnel. To mm. avoid unnecessary accidents, please leave the testing zone as soon as the testing on alarm is activated. Remember, a 
Soviet worker is always aware of their environment. This goes double for Facility 3826 employees. Ooh, okay. You alive now? So I need to get over there. There's a cable thing going that way. I don't know what that's for. What is this music though? Okay. Don't do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to um, follow this cable. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't really see anything. Hi. Oh damn it! Ah, I fell. Yeah. Where does does that does it even matter? Is it even a thing? You know? Is this? Oh hello. I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Hi. Um. Moving around is easy, but how do I get through that door? Oh, that is lit up. I see it. I see it. I'm so dumb. So dumb. Right. Okay. Interesting. Splitter. Need a blue in the middle. And the red either side. This one's going to be interesting. Um. Oh! I did it. Well, aren't I good? <laughs> All right. Did it should it. come as no surprise to find access to modern weaponry deep within civilian testing grounds. Science and war have always gone hand in hand. Is that what your programming tells you to think? Shall we say, that's what I believe. Even the cartoons you're so fond of started out as revolutionary intelligence gathering methods. Lamentable though it may up here. be, war is the engine of progress. I don't know where an AI glove could possibly get beliefs from, but if you ask me, I'm all about peace. And cartoons. <laughs> I like the cartoons. Thank you. Hey, that's that box. Nice. I, okay, that's actually great. Can I open this? No. Well, at least I found that. I like this. This has actually been a really cool thing. Gimme. Gold boy. Okay. So I got some blades for that thing. Ooh. Extended magazine. Yes. That's awesome. Let's try and get it. Let's try and get that. Upgrade shotgun because there's never a fan one that I'm shotgun. Magazine extended mag. Wow, that's huge. How much does it cost to upgrade? Not that much. Still a little bit, but not that much. Right now, okay. I don't have enough for that now. I have enough for that. Increase damage to robots. Don't have enough for that. I would like this, but I need to go somewhere else. Polygon 11. Polygon? Is that Sims the testing grounds or is that something else? Decreases recoil. Nice. How much for the next one? Can't afford it. Alright, nice. Very nice. So how much can it hold now? Okay, that's a lot smaller at the front than I was expecting. Eight though. That's, that's, yeah, that's good. Save it. This game's really good. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It, I, it's definitely better in the facilities than out of it, though. So far, I'm not, I'm not so keen on the, uh, the whole outsideness, but, eh, 
Well, you do, you know? Okie dokie, where are we? Hey, can you? Right. So, testing ground one, cleared. We're all the way over there. There's another testing ground there, but let's head to the arena. Let's head to the main objective. Very cool, though. I, I actually did enjoy that. Interesting, though, about the whole bronze, silver, and gold thing, because, like, it wasn't necessarily more challenging. It kind of was. Silver one, there wasn't anything. There was just, just what we just walked to it, but I liked it. I liked it. It was different. Oh, hello. I'm guessing we're gonna need... Locked. What else is new? We're gonna need a thing, Charles, aren't we? Open it. Unfortunately, I... Be careful, Major. The enemy has raised the alert level. Oh, of course it has. For it. Oh, okay. Let me eat a cupcake. in the head boom okay you're going down what be careful the enemy is on high alert. Uh, of course it is another bloody camera yes there is oh yeah there's a hawk in the sky God damn cameras. Oh, really? It's... Oh my god. They can manufacture up to 100 robots an hour. I need to just not be here. Oh my god, there's more coming. Jesus Christ. I only have eight shells left. Yeah, don't you laser me, you prick. Gimme. Gimme. What the f What do you do? I'm detecting even more enemy signatures, Major. Uh. You're about to have a serious battle on your hands. I don't want one. Oh, you broke. I tried to dodge. Whoa, you're fast. What? Oh my god, I'm gonna have ammo on everything now. Ah. Right. <clears throat> Oh. Yeah, we're not having that. Um. Oh my god. I am out of that. Major, there will soon be so many enemies here that your demise is inevitable. My god. Oh, I need a camera for this. You are kidding me. I need to go up there, right. I didn't mean to fire. Alright, we need to just we need to go there. God damn it. Hey, a Valan. Sweet. Valan, not a Vulcan. Yeah, hey, bye. Oh my god. 
This is damned intense. Okay, what do we have here? Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VDNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. I really do want to disable the Hawk, thank you very much. Okay, maybe I can disable it from there, because that's just going to be so good if I can do that. Then I can actually explore. Whoa. Check out those huge mirrors. What are they for? These groups of mirrors illuminate the VDNA Ooh, with yeah. natural light and act as solar panels, providing power to the complex. Impressive. Nice. A temple of science. This would have been a hell of an event if not for Petrov. All right. Uh, hi. Are you waiting for me? How kind. Oh, hello. Wow, there's a lot of them. Oh god, you're a sneaky little man. Well, well. Oh my god, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I need more ammo. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I need to just get out of here. Let's go. Whoa, okay. Cupcake. Oh, box. Nope. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see some. I have no ammo. Yeah, yeah, I can climb this. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. <laughs> I want to disable the thing, not ride it. What are these cables for? Ah. They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the hawk during bad weather. Ah, maybe I can slide down a cable. I see. It's kind of cool, but I would rather I didn't have the hawk so I didn't have to deal with all the nonsense that's happening. But let's go. I need a Nora. I have no ammo. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see Nora. that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Fading data. Please select the desired Huh, <sighs> Right. Upgrades. Upgrades. Oh. Ooh. Let's have a look at it. High damage. Good attack speed. Good charge damage. Maybe I'll get rid of my, um... My other thing. This thing, the pastet. Right, uh, you can move. Oh yeah, you can move across to PM ammo, PM ammo, vodka. Fat boy can go. Alright. Disassembly. Disassemble. Disassemble. You get so many metal pieces for this, this ammo. Uh, and you. Thank you. And the vodka. Cool. Right. Crafting! Oh, I don't have 20 of that stuff. What is that stuff? Um, okay. Disassemble. Can I get any of that stuff from anything I have? No. Really? That's you. Oh my god. Rare from those guys, mostly from these guys. Huh. Alright. I guess I'll have no melee weapon for now. I mean, I could craft one, because I can just get stuff back for it, can't I? Hmm. Yeah, I could get it back, I guess. For now. But yes, that's what I need to work on then. I need to get more of that stuff. 
Come on. Give. Thank you, Nora. I don't know why some of the Noras are just absolutely fine and some of them just really aren't. <laughs> I need ammo. That's what I really, really, really need. So, Nora, we're going to make some ammo, okay? Granted. Ammo. Uh, Kalash. Can't make multiple types at a time, can I? Access granted. Thank you. All right. Twenty-four. I uh, might need more. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. That's not bad, though. So, what will it be, Major? All right, more ammo, please. Cartridge guns. Meh. Oh, that's using that. Wow, that... Oh, okay, that's more expensive than I thought. This only uses this stuff. Thank you. Save. All right. That's better. Who's that? That's nothing. That's no one. That's not even anything. All right, what am I doing here? Zap. Oh, shit, did you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on, it's freaking adorable. Oh, my God. Jesus, you're fast. Oh, Hog Edgy. Ah, hmm. Heal. I'm doing no damage to it. Oh. Lights out. Who's the man? Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Oh, I thought he was gonna slam on the ground. Oh my god. He's so fast. Whoa. Okay, I just need him to basically tire himself out. Oh my... Quite dangerous, yeah. No, no kidding. I don't know if that's my opportunity to attack it or if I'll get more. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Wow. Cupcakes. Okay. Yes, I do have to wait for it to tire itself out. Oh my god, what's it doing now? Oh, well... That works. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can get it to run into, though. Oh, what is it doing? Oh my god. Hi, buddy. Do you mind not being the way that you are? Go away! Go away! Eeh. Oh my god. Come on, be tired. Jesus, this thing's intense. It's actually a really cool fight, though. Watch out. Okay, I think one more will do it. Yeah, that actually does hurt it. Yep. 
Yeah, that actually really does hurt it when I can do that to it. Come on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Was that a civilian robot? For real, that thing. A civilian oh. robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I, I do? I mean, shit, I do, but... I can't remember I a damn a thing. Robot. They seem different somehow. My god, that was intense. Damn. Pretty I impressive, need help. isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. Ooh. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I, I can won't do let it. Dr. Sechenoff down again. Hello. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. Okay. But I don't know what this is. I guess maybe I can't pull on that yet? Hmm. So they're interactable, and nothing else seems to be, so... Interesting, can I flip backwards? Oh, I can! Ah! Great, the mirror on the right is all set. Oh yeah, it, even, it does actually tell me to flip backwards. The mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Well, that almost went wrong. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full Mild of parts everywhere. electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's yeah. not going to kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically <laughs> speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Give me all the stuff. Well, and whatever. go. Yes, superconductors. I'm getting lots of them. That's good. Might I remind you that you can change the magnet's polarity with a single shock charge? Yep. I know. Oh, damn it. I've done the testing area. All the bits clonking up there. Comrade ah. Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost oh. there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. All right. <laughs> Is there anything to loot? There's a guy to talk to. I can do that. Hello. Hey, Comrade, wait, have you by any chance seen Oleg? Depends nope. on who Oleg is. My partner. We worked here together. He kept saying these things would be the death of us. We even bet on who would be dismembered by magnets first. We got separated when everything went to shit, so I don't even know if I was. You don't look dismembered. Uh, what magnets? What are they here what for? What magnets? Well, magnetic mm. absorption is used to eliminate all kinds of vibrations. They're a must when you have hazardous chemicals or a nuclear reactor in one room and bore off drilling holes in another. In case of earthquakes, sinkholes, or faulty foundations, and to make sure all those pretty DNA spirals in the lobby, they don't get smashed in a freak accident. So what happened to Oleg? I don't know. You got me. Oh, bummer. Well, the dad shouldn't bother the living. Mind your head. I have not seen Oleg. 
There is loot up there. I knew there would be. Is there anything in here? No Oleg? And kill. Alright. So. Do want to go over there. Can I? Can I? Uh, can I? No, okay. Okay. Whoa! Okay. That's gonna hurt. I don't have that much health either. Come on. Okay. Oh, come on. I banged my freaking head. Did I make this jump before? No, definitely not. Nope. No, nope, not making that jump. How? Oh, maybe. No, they won't. They won't move while I'm on it by the looks of it. No. All right. Come on, go down. If I, if I stand on one of these, then what happens? What if I what if I stand on one of these game? Okay, never mind then. I guess I can't. Why can't I get over there? Oh, I can I can actually stand on these wires. I thought it wouldn't let me. God damn. Well, that could have gone better. Oh look, now they're moving. I just unlocked the fat boy. Hmm. Well, I guess I need to make a fat boy. Those freaks in their goddamn mustaches again. <laughs> yep. Damn mustachioed men. I can't open that. All right. There we go. I still need to figure out that lock picking one because there's, there's just no no UI for it, so I've just got no idea. That doesn't open. All right. That still doesn't open. All right. Uh, stuff here. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me everything, and we'll sort Another it out later. door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. What's oh. the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic <laughs> shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Stuff down there. Here, and there's something to open there as the well. The system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Hey, is this Oleg? Nope. Alright. We had hats. We had suits. We had boots. We didn't have a plane. Uh, what are you talking about? My partner and I is to service the magnets here. And each day we worried we not get grounded if we got careless. Wore rubber treated pants, swallow pills, put tinfoil under the hard hat, and <laughs> to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field. But it was the robots that killed you. Nah, come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons and body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots. It was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. Hmm? You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty yeah. damn dull. Do what I did and you're gonna <laughs> live longer. He but, says uh, he's dead. There's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. 
Okay. Well, I can tell the other guy that he's dead, I, I guess. Uh, right. Let's figure out what's going on here then. Right, I need to get up there, which means I need to get onto this. Oh. Right. Boop. And then... Charles. Alrighty. What the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Aha. Uh -huh. Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not <laughs> Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Hmm. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Yeah, true. Also, this thing's very, very vulgar. Yeah. All right, next room. Anything to loot in here? Nothing to loot and nothing to power on by the looks of it. We just need to go that way. I'm, I'm immediately switching that so I can go over here. Okay, across to here. Yeah, anything... Nothing on the scanner. No, we just need to go that way, which... Probably means we need to go like all the way around, but that's okay. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? Hmm. But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, <laughs> he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. <laughs> more equal. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save this here, and I'm going to leave the episode here. I do hope you have enjoyed. I really have. This was really cool. I'm still not so sold on the sort of overworld stuff. Um, it's a bit weird, because it's like, here's loads of stuff to explore, but if you dare stay in one place for too long, you're going to be surrounded. Then even if you kill those enemies, they're going to come back, and they're all going to be in the same spot, and they're all going to want to kill you. It's, a, it's weird. It doesn't really let you explore much in that sense. But I really enjoy all the facilities, and the story is pretty compelling so far. I'm very much enjoying it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.
Bye for now.